Good afternoon from Mama Marie's Kitchen at Home. Glad to be back with you today. We're going to do a real short one right quick. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use your leftover cream potatoes. I've got three cups of leftover cream potatoes. Now these are real potatoes. They're not instant potatoes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make a potato fritter or patty or whatever you want to call it. First of all, whenever your potatoes get cold, they're kind of lumpy. So what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of milk in them. Just watch, because I'm not going to measure it. It won't be probably a good tablespoon full. Now, as I told you the other day, I've got a my microwave in my kitchen is tore up. So I'm going to take it to my microwave in my dining room. I need to get my potato masher, I guess. But that's what it is. I'm going to put it in there and just warm them, okay? I've got it set for, I think, a couple of minutes. I probably won't even run it. And you really have to watch the wattage on your microwave. When it says two minutes, if it's a high microwave of uh, watts, it might not work. Oh, well, I thought I had it ready. You said it again. This thing does a lot of different things. Okay. Now I'm going to let it run maybe 35 or 45 minutes. Minutes? I mean seconds. <laughs> you got to watch me. I'm tired today. And uh, we're going to set them on to get hot. I just want them to get warm so I can work with them real good. So we're not going to do it for just maybe 30 seconds. This is a real high wattage microwave, so it doesn't take this long. I'm going to check it out quick. And what are you looking for? I just want to soften them up. I want to get them warm. They're still not warm. So we're just going to put them back in for a few minutes. I may have to add a little more water, I mean milk. We'll just have to see when I get in there. If it does, it won't be much. I just want to get the coldness out of them so that they'll mix real good with what I'm going to put in them. It's another beautiful day in Alabama today, I'm telling you. The Lord just keeps bringing his sunshine down on us. It's so good. And I'm home on the weekend, so I enjoy it a lot better. Okay. And these are called potato fritters? Fritters, patties, whatever you want to call them. I may have to put me on just a dab more milk. I'll see after I get them. I'm having problems with my Swisher today. <laughs> All right, of course, they're already seasoned. They got butter and salt and pepper in them because you had them as cream potatoes. What I'm going to do, I've got one egg beat. I'm going to put one egg in them. Okay, I've got two tablespoons of flour, just self rising white lily flour. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to cut me up. It's about a half a cup of onions. Cut them up pretty fine. You don't have to, but the onions really makes a difference in the taste. So I'm going to put them up in there. I'll take my spoon and just mix all that together. And if you don't like onions, you haven't got to put them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to put them in there. Just mix your egg if it's already beat up and your flour. And I guess they could add anything else to it. Oh, they yeah, want it, you want, they? it didn't, doesn't matter. Just add what you want to. This is just what we like. All right. Come on over to the stove. Let me ask you, could you add like shredded cheese or anything yeah. to it? Or Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to. You know, that's what I tell you. Most of my recipes are basic. It's recipes that I like, like the meatloaf. I don't like bell peppers in my meatloaf. But if you like bell peppers, put them. Mine is just basic recipes. You can add anything you, you like to them. This is the way we like them. But like I said, you add anything. Come on over to my stove. I've got, I've got it a little hot. I've had it on medium low to warm up, but it's not quite hot enough. So I'm going to put it on about medium high to heat it. I've got my oil in here. Delaney, you want to see? Just enough oil, you know. I want oh, I imagine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want them to kind of sink down in it so the oil will come up around them. 
Okay. And let's hope they work out real good. <laughs> I'm going to drop one and just see, Let me see if how it's ready. Just, just a spoonful. Mm -hmm, just okay. tell me how much you would like. It's not My grease is not quite hot enough, but it's getting there. So I've got it on medium high. I'm just going to leave it there for a few minutes till it gets hot. Then I'll turn it down. Now remember the potatoes are done, but the eggs and the onions are not done. So you want to make sure you cook them slow enough. That, that, that it'll all be done. You make them smaller, you make them bigger, whatever you like. Right now, I've still got it on medium high. I think it'll probably end up cooking on medium high, but you see I've got enough oil in it to pretty much come up and cover them so that they're cooking through instead of just on the bottom. Now it's going to be a few minutes of cooking and I don't want to take up your time so when I get ready to turn them we'll be back and I'll let you know about how long it was but you can be the judge whenever they get brown start browning good on the bottom you can be the judge of when they're done but uh, I'm not going to just stand here and make you have to sit there and watch so we'll be back in just a few minutes okay hey welcome back we're cooking our potato fritters I have still got it on medium high. They're beginning to brown. See how they brown? I turned those two over. It's been about what, Mama? How many minutes? About five minutes, six minutes. Just watch it. See how pretty they're turning? Now, they, this will be real soft, so they'll be real tender. They'll tear up real easy. But I'm turning them over now. And I think I'm just going to leave it on what it's sitting on. It seems to be cooking just about right. I might just have to taste one to make sure it is good. Well, you can <laughs> smell them and know they're good. They smell delicious. I don't know about y'all, but I'm funny about throwing away leftovers. I end up throwing a lot out, but uh, I, I try to save what I can save. And this is something you could teach your pot of black-eyed peas and some cornbread. That's all you need and some potato fritters. You can hurt yourself eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they are real good. Uh, a lot of restaurants use the instant potatoes something, but we peel our potatoes. We peel our potatoes. We have cream potatoes on Wednesday, and we'll probably end up cooking 30 or 40 pounds, and we peel them. I've got a wonderful lady that works for me that... Uh, she just gets back there and peels those potatoes, never complains anything. I never have to worry about her having them ready for us to cook. And then, of course, we do other things with them, too. And we always peel our potatoes. I don't use any instant. That's what makes it so good. I'm going to just check this one. Can you see the bottom? I'm going to let them stay a few more minutes. And like I told you, now they're going to be real soft. They're real soft, so they'll tear up a little of nothing. After we get this pan done, you'll know how to do them, so we'll just get off the video, and I'll go ahead and cook the rest of them. I've got a grandson that can eat a plate full. <laughs> you wouldn't <laughs> believe how many he can eat. <laughs> Sometimes if we have them left over... I'll uh, cook him some that afternoon so when he gets in from work, he's got some potatoes and he'll say, does everybody eat? <laughs> we'll say, yeah, well, he'll be ready. <laughs> There's your finished one right there. Now, you see, I still got a bunch of junk in my water. I mean, in my grease. I really am messing up today. Uh, because, like I said, they are very soft and they will tear up real easy. Do you want to ask if anybody's got any requests? Well, yeah, you can, but I've got so many requests now, I'm getting really, really behind. <laughs> <laughs> if time allows, I've had a number of people ask me about making a chocolate pie. 
So if I have time today, I'm on, I plan to do a chocolate pie also. Okay, you've seen what they are. You've seen how they cook. I'm going to finish cooking the rest of them. They're real good. Just let them sit there and kind of drain. And they, you'll just, oh, they are so good. But just stick you some peppers, whatever you want now. It's good. All right, we're going to let you go on this one. We love you. Thank you for watching. And I pray God blesses each one of you. Bye-bye.